Hey y'all and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Um, I don't know if you guys have missed me, but I've certainly missed you all. We, d we made our move from California to Texas uh, in the weeks uh, before packing and trying to get everything ready for the move. Uh, that was pretty stressful all by itself and then living around boxes and boxes and boxes. Uh, then it took us a four day drive. We traveled with an 80 pound old lab who we stopped every two hours to let her walk around and well, me too. But uh, anyway, we finally made it and so now we've been living in a sea of boxes. I'm still discombobulated. Uh, pay no attention to all the stuff behind me. Okay, so I have a, have a canvas here, and I'm going to do a two cup pour. I'm going to mix the red and brown, and then I have actually pumpkin orange, some metallic, um, metallic, metallic, brush copper, and a little bit of yellow. I just don't want the yellow to like take over. You know, yellow can kind of sometimes get a little carried away. So we're going to mix, do one cup with those three, one cup we're going to layer these two colors just to see if we can get a little bit of a different different look, different effect. Now because I do want cells in this particular pour, I have added um, lubricant, lubricant treadmill belt silicone. Those of you um, who live in the South know how pretty fall is. Nothing started turning, of course, but while there's so much to love about the beach, I do miss the fall colors. So hopefully I will be get to experience that again this year. When you use the lubricant, you'll want to continue, you want to stir several times because it's, it can kind of separate from the paint a little bit. So keep blending it really well. I'm not going to use all of this yellow. I'm just, I want just a hint of the yellow. I just don't want a whole bunch of yellow. Alright, so now let me grab my gloves. Uh, I did find those, so let me grab gloves and we're going to pour. I'm going to start with the two colors, the red and the brown. And then I'm going to put my orange, yellow, and the brushed copper next. We've already got great cells forming. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so now I have this idea, and I'll see what happens. 
to bring these in together, I'm going to use my little, it's actually a, a icing tool, I believe. I'm not a baker. But I am going to just slightly, lightly drag over and blend some of these together. And now we're going to start tilting a little bit. I may do a little more. I don't want to lose, you know, all the red. But see, I wanted, oh, look how cool. And how cool is that? So now I'm going to drag some of the red through here. Let's just see what we can do here. I'm trying to keep it on here just as much as possible because once you start running over, your pattern goes with it. It looks like I could take have a little more orange through here. So I'm going to start right here and I want to totally dissect all those cells. So we're going to just swipe a little of the orange all through here. For those of you that have commented and I hadn't gotten back with you yet, I so apologize, but on the road, it was just <laughs> exhaustion and I, I promise I'm going to catch up because I do appreciate and look forward to your comments. So I will be catching up with everybody soon. I'm gonna let, we're just gonna let a little of this red flow back down through. Just picking up some of this paint that's fallen over for the edges. I find that sometimes works really well. You see how when we do that little drag, having more cells form, it's just pretty cool. I think I could take even a little more. Let me grab a paper towel. Now, I'm happy with the way I've got just the red, little red, got enough red. Still got a lot of the great orange and yellow, and you can see just a little bit of the brown. The um, metallic, you can see it in there up close, but it's not, it's not booming through, which that's fine. It just, you want, you know, sometimes that's just cool to have those little, little bits of it peeping through. Now I'm not going to use a torch on this or anything. Um, one reason being I have no idea where it is. So we've gotten all these cells just from the silicone. The swiping the swapping just it helps it the paint just reacts with it, it you know 
it's each other and we'll form those cells. But this is really pretty fall colors um, for you Cricut, uh, Cricut users and um, Shop Couture that like to go back over things like this. This will be a great piece to put something real, a fall saying or something on. It'll, it just would look, I think it'll look really cool and use it with your seasonal decor. Um, thanks again for watching and for stepping in and, or stopping by rather. And I look forward to hearing from you. I appreciate your likes and your comments. And if you're new to Design by Kathy, I hope you'll subscribe as well. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. You all have a wonderful day.